So I told you about the apple tree story, right? A, a pretty childish, simple, but very real beginning of some excitement in me of what I wanted home to look like way down the road. Well, the next stage of that was actually much longer and sort of slower developing of just seeing and liking and wanting and thinking about what connected with me. It began to be more real as I got older and I had no plan here at all. I was always really conscious of people's houses and it, I was interested in that. So I would go to friends' houses and I was always most intrigued by friends whose houses were different, who were not normal. I can remember a friend's house who his bedroom had previously been an attic. And so it had this low A-frame ceiling that came all the way down to the floor. And it was actually a really small room, but I loved it. I thought it was so cool because it was different. Nobody else had anything like that. Normal is almost always unattractive to me. Doesn't mean I, it's bad, it means I would not want that. Later, you know, got a driver's license and I was able to explore more and man, did I. If there was a road in a neighborhood that I hadn't been down, and this is still true, maybe why I got into real estate, I felt compelled to go explore, go see what's down that road. And I always was most interested in the homes that had bigger lots, half acre, acre, two acres. Definitely the homes that were on bigger lots that were unique homes. I always liked these colonial style homes because the area I grew up in was all single story ranch or two story brick. Just kind of everything was that way. I love where I grew up, but I grew up in a normal mid to upper middle class neighborhood in a two story, mostly brick home with a nice corner lot. I enjoyed that. It wasn't that I was running away from that. It's that I was just something about it drew me in to not normal, to different, to bigger lot, unique house. Definitely the physical aspects of those lots and homes drew me in, but also I began to cultivate the things that made the house feel like home, that felt right about what was, what was happening and the traditions and things there. But specific to the kind of house I was painting this picture of, I dated my wife in high school. So we've known each other since we were 16 and 14. And I proposed in college, and the night I proposed, took the tailgate down of the truck and sat in the back of the truck and started to dream about what would the future of our lives together look like. And one of the most important things to me was I literally said to her that night, hey, I do not want to live in a normal house. That doesn't mean I wouldn't ever do that, but long-term big picture dream setting was a house that just wasn't normal. I wanted a bigger lot. I wanted a unique house that other people would feel in the way I felt in those really cool homes growing up when I was in them or driving by them or seeing them. There were aspects of those homes that I can now see coming into vision in the home that we're almost finished building that we believe is our forever home. We have a room with those low pitched ceilings like my buddy's bedroom. We have a bigger lot like the ones I was always drawn to. And I'll, I'll share more with you about kitchens and bedrooms and game rooms and recreational areas and kitchens, and outdoor kitchens and things like that, that I began to piece together. But man, am I and was I lucky that I met a woman that would support, if not share, the dream I had for a not normal home. That night, she said, that's fine with me. I don't have any big dreams about that. She had big dreams about other things that of course I said, great, I, I support you in that. But the house thing has always been kind of my dream, my desire. And every home we've ever bought, almost always funky, nasty, underpriced homes that we were able to make at least somewhat our own. And we've built little pieces of this vision into townhomes and one-story houses and two-story houses and cheap houses and nicer homes. And now we're beginning to finally try to check almost every one of these boxes. And as we continue to unfold this story for you, I'm hoping that I'll get to share bedrooms, bathrooms, square footage, yard size, trees, but also things that those things allow us to do as a family and as individuals in that family in and around the home so that we can be who God made us to be. And that is why I believe since a very young age, I've been fired up about aspects of home and what I wanted someday. And we're getting to finally do that now.